everybody it is Tanya thrifty treasures and today I am on my way out to my antique booth um, I haven't been out there since last month and I need to pick up a check hopefully I did really good I'll let you guys know how I did once I'm, I'm done over there and I've got a bunch of new stuff uh, new inventory that I'm bringing so I want to show you guys all that and also I'm experimenting I'm gonna show you because I'm gonna stop light I'm experimenting with uh, how I'm packaging my jewelry and so I have some stuff hanging, but I'm also experimenting with a basket of it too, because I don't know about you guys, but whenever I go to like the antique malls and places like that, <clears throat> garage sales, whatnot, I love to rummage, like and go through all of the different uh, packages of jewelry. <clears throat> so it's just something experimental. Uh, I'm trying out, we'll see how it goes. If it sells well and it does really good, then that'd be a really great thing because like I said, it's a really super awesome way for me to move jewelry that I get in the jewelry jars and also, you know, the, the smalls help me to pay my rent. So definitely excited to see how that goes. And I'm probably gonna stop at the Goodwill out there too. So I'll take you guys inside with me and see if we can't find anything. Okay guys, this is probably gonna be a really short video. Um, I was in a hurry whenever I was dropping off stuff at my antique booth because I spent way too much time in Goodwill. And I really don't have anything to show you that I bought there. I bought some stuff for some crafting projects I'm gonna be doing soon. So you guys will uh, be seeing those coming out soon. So I just wanted to share uh, what I did this month. So this month I made, or actually last month, uh, profit was $268.38. And I was just gonna show y'all Here's the list of some of the stuff I sold. Um, okay, so let's see. I sold um, a Twilight book set, you guys, for $39.99. Well, actually, it was on sale for $20 because I ran that 50% uh, off sale. Let's see. Um, I sold a bean, uh, like a liquor box I'd had forever with an empty bottle, Colorado belt buckle, a clock. Um, several jewelry jars for half price and I already had them priced so cheap as it was so somebody got a really good deal uh, let's see I sold a lighthouse nightlight a cookie uh, jar a dog cookie jar another lighthouse a picture a globe a mug a sign um, another sign a shadow box a decanter another cookie jar a camera a peg holder an owl cookie jar uh, some more jewelry, I bet that was uh, jewelry jars. Uh, sold a grab bag. Oh gosh, that little grab bag I'd put together <clears throat> with the uh, index card over the top of it. That sold. Um, and I just kind of had like a hodgepodge of stuff in there. Like I think a key ring and some other little uh, miniature type stuff. I sold a butterfly picture, a wire basket. <clears throat> a couture picture, a doughboy, a purse, a JD cup. I don't know what that is. Uh, I sold a pug, another mini dog. I sold a spaghetti bowl. Oh, I think that was like SpaghettiOs plastic bowl. That sold. And this, um, it says Tom Display. It had 49 on it and it sold for 25 but that was uh, an old, like I guess Tom's I don't know what they sold, maybe chips or nuts or something, but I had actually picked it up uh, in my neighborhood. It was on the curb, so not too bad for a $25 profit. Finally sold. I sold a duck. I sold that food dog, you guys, I got a while back. I had 39 on it, but it was on sale, so I got 20 for it. Sold a Mickey canister. Sorry, I was getting a phone call. Whenever I get phone calls and I'm like trying to make a video, it just cuts it off. Um... So, and a pitcher and a clock and a rooster, some more butterfly stuff. So yeah, um, so at the end of this video, I'm gonna include some pictures that I took of my booth, to try to show you guys some of the new things I brought up there today. And um, that's all I got for this one. So uh, I hope you enjoyed the quick little video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, bye.